I need to come up with some new beats for the beatbox, don't I? Let me improv a beat. I, I keep going back to the same fucking beat of like. You guys want to learn to beatbox? Spam one if you want to learn to beatbox right now. 1.5 motherfuckers again, bro. <laughs> I had this one friend in uni who could beatbox um, in like a no in a, a dubstep kind of one. I can't even fucking do it. If I could find you the video, me and my friend are kind of like making noises, like kind of, um, you know, just like freestyling when we're, we're drinking, we're about to go out. And my friend walks through the door, hears us just freestyling and out of nowhere, just fucking drops a fucking like sick beat with like, like a dubstep kind of um, beatbox. We just went hype as fuck, man. <laughs> Uh, I need a, a new beat, bro. I keep using the same. <laughs> there was one that I used to do all the time when I was in college. Like, oh yes. What was it? <laughs> this fucking, this angle again, bro. <laughs> You're weird, bro. Why are you watching f***ing crotch live streams, bro? I hope your father came into the room at that exact time. <laughs> Hamza, any suggestions? I'm struggling to get back into self-improvement after A-levels A and I feel lost. It comes and goes, man. Self-improvement is kind of like this wave where at some points you're doing all the habits, fantastic, amazing, and at other points you feel like, oh, I'm not even on self-improvement. How do I get back onto it? In the, the grand scale of things, in the macro level, you're still on it. You never go off self-improvement when you've dedicated as much as you have to it. It's just that right now you're currently in one of those low days. You just have to figure shit out. The mindset that, okay, I'm on self-improvement for life, so I don't need to just, you know, suddenly just get it back onto track right now. You have to understand that if you're going to be on self-improvement for the rest of your life, there's surely going to be weeks, months, years, where you're feeling like you're not at maximum potential. Hamza, what to do when a girl that is higher status than you shows interest? Yeah, enjoy it, man. Like, a, a girl can be higher status than you, but if you're still in your masculine, then that's fine. Do you know what I mean? Like, like if a girl's got higher status, she's got a good, you know, like a, a high up family, or she's worked very hard herself and stuff. It can still be fine. Generally, men want to date a woman who's somewhat below them in a financial and success perspective. And generally women want to date a man who's above them. But if you know, you're saying she's showing interest and stuff, then enjoy it, man, fucking go forward. Go forward, but go forward with like a masculine frame, be focused on work and everything. I don't I do not do like one-to-ones. A lot of people keep donating and asking me like, oh, I'm just gonna do a one-to-one -one with you. I can ask you something for advice. It's like, the way I see it, bro, is like, me and you are not gonna hop on a one-to-one -one private call and then no one else can benefit from our conversation. Fuck that, bro. Like ask me the question here and like a thousand other guys can listen to us discuss whatever we're talking about as well that's why i charge fucking extreme rates for like my sort of one-to-one -one consultation i only do it for like essentially millionaires and stuff and i don't even advertise it because if i'm gonna sit there for a one-to-one -one, which and essentially means that no one else can get the benefit of our discussion then it's like yeah well okay well i expect tens of thousands of pounds if you're telling me like my boys can't benefit from it it's like yeah sorab super chatted five canadian dollars how do i care take care of my sexual needs while i am in the beginning low value of self-improvement i just went on to like monk mode semen retention i went months sometimes without fucking when i was at that point bro you can choose. Uh, some guys choose to just jack off. Other guys choose to spend three nights a week on, on Tinder and nightclubs and stuff. I chose to do neither of those. I didn't jack off. I didn't go out. I literally just like fucking harnessed my sexual energy. Every week or something, I'd have like a wet dream. Like I'd bust a nut in the middle of my of, of nighttime because like I'd have a sex dream or something and just, you know, just clean up the mess and shit. <laughs> but that was so much information. But I did that. Personally, I, I'll, I don't jack off. I think it's ruins your mental health. Even if you do it without porn or whatever, I just think it's such a like beta male behavior, even though that sounds cringe. And um, I think chasing sex as well is kind of stupid. I did that for a long time and I, I stopped doing it when I was on self-improvement. Wuru, super chatted five. I just want to thank you for your kindness and your advice. I will pray for you and your family. Thank you, bro. That's really sweet, man. The jackpot, super chatted 299. Love the new videos, the structure and the editing. Thank you, bro. We've got uh, a video in the works right now. You guys are going to fucking love this, man. I've, I've spent the last few days working on one video instead of me just sitting down for 20 minutes to rant about hard times, create strong men, part 17. I've spent the last few days like organizing a fucking jackpot guide. And it, it's it's nice, man. When you see it, it's like the amount of work I've put into this, bro. You guys are going to be impressed. I know you will. And we're, we're stopping to do daily uploads as well. So there's going to be some days you're literally just not going to see me upload because we're choosing to go with like quality. And I want each upload to go onto the channel. I want the majority to be like this, this organized guide 
you know, like my channel trailer is the, the video, which has got 1.5 million views, the full guide to self-improvement, how to fix your life. I want more videos like that, which just take longer, man. So we're not doing like just daily uploads anymore, but I will be streaming or posting highlights on the second channel quite frequently. So you can see me around there. Ben Talk, Ron 25. If you don't want to dabble with religion yet, I recommend the Kilia Bilon. It's a metaphysics book. I think you will find it worthwhile. What's a uh, Kaiba, Kaiba Lion. Thank you, bro. I'll, I'll look into that, man. Nathan W. Super chatted five pounds. This reminds me of the Brexit thing that happened in 2016, where if you voted to leave the EU, you were a racist. Bro, I believe that. I literally believed that if you voted to leave the EU, you were racist. I was like fully convinced that, okay, but anyone who votes Brexit, anyone who's right wing is just simply racist and sexist. I didn't realize, up until I read the book Hard Times, Pretty Strong Men, I didn't realize the value of keeping your country's culture very intact. I did not realize, I thought anyone who was against something like immigration was just instantly racist and you know this is coming as a brown guy who came into this country from immigration i realized there's so much value in keeping your country's culture very tight-knit and of course that sounds like uninviting it sounds you know intolerant but there is value in doing that man and if you're interested in this topic if it sounds you know something interesting google or youtube the word the word subversion S-U-B-V-E-R-I-O-N, subversion. One of the most interesting things you can look into and it will give you anxiety as well. It will fucking scare you. It'll make you want to work hard as fuck to get some money because you're going to need it, bro. Hard times are coming, boys. Brad Vella, super chatted, $10. Hamza, to say you have changed my life would be an understatement. I'm so grateful for your knowledge and being a father figure to me. God bless you, Hamza. Much love from Australia. Thank you, Brad. Ariam Corpus, 999. Hamza, I'm out of place because I'm gay, becoming more masculine, but I'm attracted to feminine energy, but not from women. What's your thoughts? David Dida explains this in his book, and he says that even in homosexual couples, there's, there still needs to be a good sexual polarity. One person, whether it's a lesbian or, or a gay couple, one person still needs to have masculine energy and one needs to have feminine energy. So a man can still have feminine energy, a gay man can still have feminine energy. And this is like, it's kind of stereotypical, but you generally do see, for example, a gay couple, a lesbian couple. There's usually, imagine a, two gay guys who are a couple. There's usually a guy who's way more f masculine, who's way more like dominant. And there's a guy who's way more submissive, way more feminine, who's like softer spoken. You need to have a masculine feminine polarity. And it doesn't, masculine and feminine doesn't necessarily mean man and woman. It's just that generally men are masculine, generally women are feminine. But for example, a gay, a gay couple can get together. One guy can still be masculine, the other guy can still be feminine. I think my understanding of masculine and feminine energy is getting quite good now, which I'm really happy about. Adiola, super chatted 10 pounds. Can you do another books that helped me video? I won't do a video because I'm not really, I mean, I could actually do that as a main channel one, but I'd probably do it as a live stream actually. I appreciate that. Uh, let me write that down. We've got one final donation then I'm gonna help off boys. Braden or Morozo, super chatted 499. Thank you for everything, Hamza. Just got cheated on two months ago. I'm sorry about that, bro. You helped me flip my life around. 30 pounds down. I hope I find better in the future. Nicely done, man. 30 pounds down. That's fucking impressive, bro. We're gonna leave it there, boys. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.